Rachel Reeves, the finance minister of the UK, has emerged as a pivotal figure in Labour's economic strategy, particularly in the wake of recent political and economic turmoil. In September 2022, during a Labour conference, Reeves laid out her vision for a responsible fiscal policy, highlighting the party's commitment to funding public services while critiquing then-Prime Minister Liz Truss for her administration's reckless economic gambles. Her remarks came at a time when the British pound was experiencing significant volatility, tumbling nearly 5% to an all-time low against the US dollar. This was a direct fallout from the unfavorable fiscal measures proposed by Truss's government, which had sparked widespread concern among economists and the public alike. In a powerful statement, Reeves asserted, Labour is the party of economic responsibility and social justice, emphasizing that under Labour, families could expect a government that prioritizes their well-being and economic stability. Her commitment to responsible governance resonated with many voters who were feeling the pinch of rising living costs and economic uncertainty. By November 2022, Reeves continued to challenge the Conservative government's policies, asserting that the public did not believe that the ruling party would improve their family's economic situation by the time of the next election. This sentiment was bolstered by Finance Minister Jeremy Hunt's announcement of a series of tax increases and stricter public spending measures, all framed as necessary steps to recover from the economic fallout caused by Truss's brief and tumultuous term in office. At Labour's annual conference on October 9, 2023, Reeves promised to rebuild Britain should Labour win the next election. She vowed to implement ironclad fiscal rules, crack down on fraud, and work collaboratively with businesses to revitalize the UK economy. This ambitious vision not only aimed to restore public trust but also to create an environment conducive to economic growth. As the 2024 national election approached, more than 100 business leaders publicly backed Labour, signalling a strong desire for an end to the instability that had plagued the economy. After touring the Rolls-Royce Aerospace campus with Labour leader Keir Starmer on May 28, 2024, Reeves emphasized that this endorsement demonstrated Labour's potential to attract vital business investment back to the UK. On July 5, 2024, Labour secured a decisive victory, ending 14 years of Conservative governance. Following this landmark win, Reeves was sworn in as a Member of Parliament on July 9, marking a new chapter in UK politics. This election result was viewed as a clear mandate from the public for change, as voters sought solutions to the challenges facing the nation. However, the new government quickly faced pressing economic realities. On July 29, Reeves announced significant spending cuts exceeding £13.5 billion over the next two years to address a projected £22 billion overspend inherited from the previous Conservative administration. This tough decision underscored the challenges she and her team would face in stabilizing the economy while also fulfilling their campaign promises to the electorate. Reeves has candidly stated that rebuilding Britain will be a lengthy and difficult process, warning that things will get worse before they get better. This honesty has endeared her to many constituents who appreciate transparency during challenging times. As the first Labour budget is set to be unveiled on October 30, all eyes will be on Rachel Reeves. Her leadership and decision-making in the coming months will be critical in shaping the future of the UK economy and determining how effectively the new government can navigate the complex landscape ahead. With the nation's economic recovery at stake, Rachel Reeves stands at the forefront, ready to tackle the challenges and seize the opportunities that lie ahead.